I have no idea if I'm going to be good at this game. But this is, I don't know how to say the name exactly, it's like, ex, Xmum, ex, ex, Xanium, something like that, the, the, the silent call, I don't remember anything. Well, that makes two of us. The only thing I remember is that I was driving with my daughter and wife in the car. After that, dot dot dot, mmm, dot dot dot. Oh, we're just in it now, huh? Oh shit, hold up. I can barely see anything. Am I wearing a mask? Why am I wearing a mask? I don't know how I feel about the, the camera. The cam- I mean, like, it's a cool effect, but it's... It's got me feeling some type of way. I don't know. For a horror game, I-, I It's kind of great, actually. Ooh. Stop it. No, stop it. Wow, I cannot see anything. I think I gotta adjust the brightness just slightly, because having this light in my eyes makes it a little bit harder to see in-game, and I don't want that. I can't wait till I get a flashlight. So I can fucking see better. What was that? Oh god, it was this thing. Jesus. Something was just very close to my face for- Hey, bud. I was just commenting on how something scared the fuck out of me, and then you are there to scare the fuck out of me. Thanks. Hello? Oh, things. Things I can interact with, like keys. You know what's funny? I was looking at reviews for this game, because I was kind of curious, um, and this was like today, as of when I'm streaming this, and I was like, man, let me look at some of them, and people were like talking about how confusing it was about this particular part. Um, I don't know if the game was updated, but it seemed pretty easy to me. I can't read! Subject, Jason Mercer. Dear authorities, this note, uh, this note contains important information regarding the patient Jason Mercer at St. Valentine's Hospital. He is undergoing treatment at St. Valentine's Hospital, but we do not have complete information about his condition and treatment. More information is needed about his personal uh, and medical history. Jason is an extremely mysterious and in introverted individual. He struggles to communicate and often appears to be withdrawn into his own inner world. We do not have clear information about why and how Jason came to the hospital, or came to hospital. Interesting. Oh, this camera. Ugh, it's okay. Punishment cell. Oh, sweet. Finally. It was so much darker through that window. Oh, hello. It's all your fault. Ah, pills, dude. Look at all those. Oh my god, you can have all of them. Oh, assortment. Hello. From the early hours of the morning, the influx of patients and visitors began. However, the day started off like any ordinary day until those strange phone calls arrived. Initially, I thought it might be a routine call from a patient or visitor, but there was no sound. Only silence and a strange static noise could be heard. When the third call came, I was met with an even more alarming situation. The caller was speaking incoherently and their tone was unsettling. Interesting. Oh fuck. Hey man, oh yeah, you're the one that like, did the thing. Hey bud. What? Bathroom? I don't know, dude, gotta take a shit. Hello, knock knock. Did I really just search the toilet? I found a key. Not being able to see a lot is... Awful. Hey. You wouldn't... Stab me, right? You tell me if you were gonna stab me. I'd tell you if I was gonna stab you. By the way, I'm not gonna stab you. Where do I go? I don't know. Oh, hey, hello. Um... Are you friend? Friend or foe? I don't know why at that moment, but I just apologized. And she said, this is your fault. Good morning, sunshine. Did you enjoy your dream? I'm sure there's more to it. Can I see myself? <gasps> I'm a vampire! Do you fucking see that? That doesn't... I can barely tell what that is from here, but that doesn't look right. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go now. Jessica was changing clothes in the room. We had plans for today. Take care of your daily needs. Optional, wash your face, take a shower, use the restroom, have a snack. Oh shit, dude. We actually got objectives. Welcome to Life Simulator. I love that it's all optional. I'm gonna do it because I'm an absolute gamer. I took a shit, and I'm gonna take a shower. Wash my ass that just got absolutely dirty while taking that shit, and then I'm gonna go clean my face. Why is that, like, cause isn't, like, I'm sorry, I'm in the shower, Does, isn't that me cleaning my face? I gotta actually do both. Let me just walk my way over to the kitchen. 
that's not- I'm not answering, I'm looking for a snack. Do I go fight the strange guy that's watching my house? I can't go in there. Um, well, I already did all that. I mean, do I go- apparently I sleep on the couch? Bro's like, I gotta go for a drive. Let me get my flashlight! That's a big flashlight. God damn, dude. We were running late for the birthday party. That's why we chose for the shortest- a uh, shorter forest route. But a tree blocked our path! Oh man, what are we gonna do? There's a tree there! You can turn on the flashlight by pressing the F key. Yeah, I know. Thanks though, gamer. I mean, like, this is definitely lagging, right? This isn't- this is not- okay. Does this game not run well? Like, cause it, it, it's not using a lot of F- or a lot of CPU. It just doesn't feel like it's running smooth. Oh man, this looks fun. I'm sure I'm gonna love this. Great. No, it's okay. I didn't- I didn't even like that flashlight. I don't fuck with that flashlight. You think I fuck with that flashlight? No, I don't need it. Oh, that's... Is that my car? Is someone watching us? Yeah, somehow they took a picture of our car and got it here without us noticing. Um, is someone here? Cause... Fuck no. Knock knock? Hey, no, 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 knock knock, no, knock knock, no, knock knock. Why are we knock knocking? Why are we knock knocking? You stop your knock knocking. Why is there blood? Stop. Stop. Oh, it! What was that? What was that? What? Hey, hi, hello. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. That is not healthy. Um. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I don't wanna be here. I don't- I don't wanna be here. So I lost the last 20 minutes. Long story short, I started to lag. I had to stop the recording. I messed around with some things. Accidentally opened something that hid the capture. That sucked. You didn't miss a lot. We just kind of went into a house, saw a jump scare, another jump scare, a few other jump scares. I probably showed like the actual reaction at the very least to sum it up or you see. But Jessica disappeared. We're in a different house that we think she's in, and we're gonna go read a note. I'm not gonna read this note again, actually, because I already read it, so I'm probably just gonna throw that part in as well, and here's the actual words. Enjoy. All right! Yeah, I came in here, and then I was like, so no head, and then I realized uh, that I wasn't showing anything. Hey, man, what happened to your head? I really wish I could turn my flashlight on. Kind of feels a little... Rude to give me a flashlight and then, like, keep turning it off, you know what I mean? And then also, what? No, I don't want to enter the dark room. It's very dark. Oh, yeah, I noticed. Very dark, yeah, if only I had a flashlight. Oh, wait a minute! Hey. How's it, uh, <gasps> going? See, now I'm starting to get lost on this game. I was doing good for a while figuring it out, but now I just don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. All I've got is this. And if I'm being honest with you, I have no fucking clue what this is. We've got the fucking dark room, which again, I. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Ma'am? You taking a bath? I'll just leave. I don't know what to do. Suicide. Oh, good. My favorite pastime. Hey. Can you stay on that side of the bathroom? I'll stay on this side of the bathroom. Oh, fuck. Alright, get it over with, you bitch. What are you- <gasps> Jesus. <gasps> oh. Well, then why did they even get a fucking padlock key? Why did they get a padlock key? Is that for something else? I found myself alone with the painful thoughts that I struggle to put on paper. The echoes of my dad are still intoxicate my soul, and I feel the need to empty myself by writing these lines. Maybe you can't understand, perhaps no one will uh, read these lines, but you should know that it wasn't my choice, but the circumstances beyond my control that led me down this path. I am a lost soul, but maybe one day, these expressions will leave a mark where I get lost. Got lost. Well, I guess we can, uh, go fucking break into that, even though we got a padlock key for something. What the hell did that do, for one? And for two, what is this? I don't understand. Got a lighter? Or there is a lighter. I don't get to- I do get to take the lighter. That day was a nightmare. I experienced one of the darkest moments of my life. My wife, the most precious part of my life, slipped away tragically in a car accident. The pain didn't end there. My daughter became paralyzed as a result of the accident. Damn. 
Witnessing uh, her trying to cling to life every day, yet failing, shattered my, uh, shatters my heart even more. Did I kill myself? Guys, look. Guys, it's, it, it, they did it. It's the name of the... Nope, 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 nope. I just wanted to look at the cool thing. This is the padlock that needs the padlock key. Ah, oh, dude, what did we get? It looks heavy. Uh oh. Oh, I see. It's like a little hint. Today, I couldn't resist the anger boiling within me once again. I hate everything. This dull life. The painful memories. And most of all, the nightmares within myself. My anger feels like a natural reaction to all of this. Perhaps, I hope, this internal storm will calm one day. But for now, the darkness within me leaves the bitter taste of hatred. Oh, you fucking wouldn't. Ah! I can't recover after that one. That one ruined me. That one absolutely ruined me. Well, we got note going on in here. Okay. Guitar. That's cool. Here we go again. My daughter, my little angel, was dependent on life support in her hospital bed. And facing this reality was becoming increasingly difficult with each passing day. I didn't want to condemn her to this life of pain and sorrow. Please tell me you didn't kill her. The turmoil within me, alongside the pain of feeling like a parent, was shaken by the desire to do what was best for her. Perhaps shutting off these machines would be the best decision for her. But making that decision was deepening the crisis. Tracks I had created within myself. Personally, if I was paralyzed and all I could move, let's say even my neck, if I could even move my neck only, hell no. Put me down. I want to die. Oh, shit. Uh, I think it was, like I said, I think zero said, I don't know the other one. Do I just trial and error it? I have the four digits. Is that what they want? Is there some, I, I need to know. All right, I'm watching a video. I'm going to skim through it. See, I just, like, I want to know the answer. I just don't know how to get the fucking answer, you know what I mean? I think I get it now. Hold on. Before, I didn't even, like... I haven't even gotten to the padlock part. He's not at the padlock yet. I think this is the answer. I completely forgot that this was the thing. It is. That's what the symbols are about. They're not finished symbols, you idiot. Okay. So, 1705. I'm an idiot, guys. I completely forgot about that. Oh, what the hell is this? I always fought with myself. I can never change the outcome. I'm here, and I'll be here forever. This was exactly what I wanted to do to myself. I wanted to kill myself in this way countless times, but I chose to surrender. Doctors diagnosed me with severe anxiety and depression. I'm taking my medication regularly now. I aim to heal. I didn't want my daughter to endure that pain after the accident. While thinking about what I could do to protect her, I thought the silent call book could be a hope. But I summoned an unknown entity. A vague connection was established between us, and sometimes I see it. I surrender eventually, or I surrendered eventually to avoid harming people. I've decided to finish the diary. Perhaps a new page, a new hope, and a new beginning could emerge. I hope I could find a way to salvation for my lost soul. So this is a story about, well, depression and other things, as well as a demonic force that I summoned to try and save my daughter's life. Is this it? Yep, we're fading to black, guys. That's crazy. Very sad story. Very amazing. Um, highly recommend this game, guys. Go get it on Steam. Check out the creator, and check out their other games. I'll see you guys in the next one.